These are the uh, tea makers to multiply the uh, mycorrhizal fungi and the bacteria. This one has been in there a long, little longer. That bag in there is full of compost and worm castings. And, and uh, there's uh, molasses put in there and I even put some raw sugar in there and some uh, seaweed powder in there and all that foam is bacteria growing mycorrhizal is growing like crazy in there it's uh, the greatest gardening ploy that you could create. You put this tea in your garden. Now, both of these are that bag of, of, of uh, nutrients in there. I made one five gallon container with it and I put it back into the second uh, container and because that's so full of nutrients, so full of micro, uh, micro uh, uh, fungi and, and bacteria that even though it's been used once, it's really, really activated and it can be used again. And I'm even going to try it the third time and see what happens. Generally, I leave these for 24 hours. And they like to be at about uh, 75, 70, 75 degrees or, or, or higher. But uh, this one now has been in for longer than 24 hours. And this one here has, hasn't been in for 24 hours, but I'm still getting some nice action out of that. So this is, this is the uh, system I have. Here's, here's the tube with the bubbler for my aquarium operation here. And uh, that's what's oxidating, bringing air and oxygen through the, through the uh, liquid to help the uh, organisms grow. Now I can do 10 gallons every 24 hours and that goes into the garden. I either pour it in or I spray it in and, uh, and that really, really works. That's the little unit that I bought on eBay for like $13 or something. That's cheap, very cheap. So this is not very expensive to make. It's easy peasy. Uh, if you're making this at home and you get it on your hands, wash your hands in the sink with soap. There's a lot of bacteria in there. It's a good bacteria, but it's probably the same bacteria that's in your gut right now. But uh, just to be cautious. All right, that's, that's my story, that's my tea story. Here's the uh, compost tea at the garden. Getting ready to, uh, getting ready to put it out here and I'll just show you how I do it. Here's a uh, two gallon water bucket, watering bucket. It's just uh, it's filled with water. There's about two gallons of water in there. And I, I take about a, oh, I don't know, half gallon, a little less half gallon in there. It doesn't really matter. And I pour it in here. And this is what I use to water it with. Just all over the plant. 
a little bit down below. And I'll go through the garden, all through the garden with this. This five gallons will water a lot of stuff. And every day I have five gallons of this made. Uh, wear gloves. Don't get anything that is this on you because uh, you won't be able to go to church for six months. Okay? Thank you. something I wanted to show you <clears throat> excuse me uh, these cucumber plants right here I got these seeds from Russia and uh, what they are it actually took me three months to get them out of get them out of Russia but uh, what they are is a uh, cucumber that has 80% female flowers and 20% male flowers that's the exact opposite of, of our cucumbers that we grow here in the United States. Cucumbers here in the United States are 80% uh, male, 20% female. This one's just the opposite, 80% female, 20% male. It's a hybrid, so you can't save the seeds. Now, this cucumber is called Marash, M-A-R, ASH and you can buy I bought them actually through eBay but they were shipped out of Russia so I'll keep you informed as to what they're going to be like in the future and see how they do now over here I have another cucumber that I got out of Russia And this is called the Titus cucumber. There's uh, four plants here, and this is the same deal. These are hybrid, and uh, they will 80% female, 20% male. So I've got them set to go up this fence uh, to see to see how they do. I have other cucumbers here as well. This is a this is a Boston pickler right here. It's doing really well, really vigorous. And along this fence, I have some other stuff. Got some black cherry tomatoes way at the other end. So looking forward to those. So in the future, I will keep track of these and, and put a little video out just to see what they're going to be like. Thank you. Visit me at the garden. I will teach you and you can teach me. That's what gardening is all about.